Bloody love these um, 38.6 British Bullion. Absolutely beautiful. Stage one. Just straighten them up. Use them fifteens today. It gives a bit of clearance on the side, but it's not essential. Seventeens is just as good. Bad shape, good start. Next will be the pushing through. As you can see, the the die. The die is designed. Well that's bottom down. That's designed to push to the bottom with the push rod. Simple design. Very efficient. Same with that. Like I say, that's it. Completely done. Right, two minutes. Nicely greased, nicely level, level as best as you can. Then pop it on the thing, your spacer. I've already got my push mark, wadding. It's just a process. Does it? Down to the mark. Remove your push rod. They're ready for the final push. Swap it over. Nice and level. Where it gets interesting with the new design on the push rod. See how it pushes the, the ring out. It's designed designed from not even a micron distance in between, and there it is. Just all sits into its spacer. As it's intended to do, doesn't come past the, the mark, rod, perfect, back in its container for another use another day. 
into storage. Lovely. Right. Take this off. There you go. Getting there. A little bit, could be a little bit straighter, but that'll be happened on the next one. And so far, so good. Same principle on the second push. Push rod already marked in advance. Pop in your Green ring. Level it to your best of your ability there. Tiny piece of wooden. Dale and rod. That's the snug. It. Damage to your rod zero. This wadding is not necessarily to protect your reed, it's more to protect your rod because it is dowering, especially if you're using, say, clad, it would say it's a lifesaver, it just saves you from getting rings around there. Coming out the bottom. Too bad. Final push. Final be the male into the female as you push through. You can see what I mean. No need to mark a gauge on this because this will go straight into its spacer built below the purpose built spacer. You just slowly carry on pushing and it goes all the way through. See, it spaces in its the male push riders into the female spacer there, and um, ready for the next usage. Absolutely, take that off. I can see just enough clearance, that's a micron, and um, ready to go. Second push. Reduce quite nicely. Now all I need to do now is to size the reed and then I'll come back and straighten it with 
today my preference is going to be a 5 degree wall straightening cone and then um, we'll go from there lovely welcome back like I said um, got it to this stage now I'm gonna opt for the 5 degree cones today wall straightening cones and see what happens there pick a suitable cone just before the V is the reed three quarters of the V again so they're too accurate but it's just the walls so you can see the walls need to be straightened so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten the walls to V and then size the reed on the ring stretcher and then it um, should be nice and straight if the five degrees do what they're designed to do. Now let's see. very straight that's better that's much better wow be it I think do the read yet on the ring stretcher remove the cone and that away a little straight I'll go back to that in a minute I just want to size the reed up and I'll be back and then we'll see what it looks like shape is getting there very nice I think those fives are actually beautiful welcome back just finishing off the straightening walls just a fraction needed That's it. I'm not going to 
play around with that anymore. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's a nice shape, that. Well, not bad for the first attempt on fives. Finish that off. Release your can. Bring back. Yeah. Take a photo of that. There. Not bad at all. Just going to tidy that end up, the cot end. Little bit of pitting on the inside of the reed. I don't know where that's come from. And, um, I'll post that. It's quite nice. Very nice indeed. But um, that's what I love about this industry. It's the tooling I like. Like the new design that each rod is perfectly, perfectly designed to take it pushed down into its spacer distance like I say there's a mic one or maybe a thou but that is tight and that's beautiful pushes through same again bottoms out there and into its case that's what I really wanted to test today was this new rod design perfect no damage love them absolutely beautiful right I'll put this I'll finish this and we'll see what it's like when it's when it's some sulfur and Expose the detail. See how that looks in the morning. Thank you. Welcome back. Just as I said before, it's just really tightening up now. The walls I'm happy with. I could get a little bit straighter, then I'd have to start messing around with the size and that. But, um, a bit of a wobbly bob there, but it's not too, too bad. Come along quite nicely. Fuck sake, if you try this, mind your fingers. I've been through a bloody shop more times than I've had up in this. Yes. Cover your ring as well, obviously, that goes without saying. There you go. Okay.
Probably go blank. Gives it that round good look on the ring finger there. Beautiful. Come along nicely. The next stage will be to do the reed and then I'll um, drop it in some liver of sulfur and blacken her up, bring out the details and post the results. Just the read to do and um, she'll be pucker. Wobbly Bob again. Slip and you're in the shite, as they say. Yep. That'll do for me then. That'll do indeed. -y. Lights out. Everybody go home. It's time for tea.